Does God want me to have money? You better believe God wants you to have money. You better believe God wants you to have revenue. He wants you to increase. There's over 2,000 verses in the Bible, more than salvation, more than healing and everything. God about God prospering you. His servants prospered. They were rich. They had land, they had cattle, they had whatever they wanted. God wants the same for you. He wants you to study the business side of life, money, how it operates. He wants you to have a business mindset. He wants you to increase. He wants you to have revenue. He wants you to have nice things. But see, God is on the bigger level. It ain't Satan. Well, he can just give you a million dollars overnight for your soul, for your life. So you belong to him. God is interested in your character, being a steward of your money. If God gave every one of us a million dollars right now, 90% of us would be broke within a year. Where's your stocking? Where's your investment? We live in a digital age now. If you have access to the internet, I don't care if you're in Africa, I don't care if you're in China, I don't care if you're in America, you can be a multimillionaire. You can affiliate with Amazon, you can do drop shipping, you can come up with business ideas, you can build apps. YouTube pays you money just to make videos and do what you like. There's other automated systems, automated emails to businesses that you get paid just for getting views. You can sell other people's products. There's money all over the place. It's a it's it's a game. It's money is printed, it becomes invisible. If you look at how the uh, if you look at the Federal Reserve, how they print at a loan, they're always trying to make everybody a, a slave. And how if you look at the dollar bill, you have the one percent, the Bilderberg, the Illuminati, and everybody thinks you got to give your soul to Satan for money. That's a lie. You can do it the legit way, but they try to underplay that. Money is a game. God wants you to have that. He wants you to have insight and knowledge and wisdom and revelation of that. He don't want you dependent on your mama being broke, but it takes striving. See, anytime you do something for God, it ain't going to be normal. I'm just going to go to college, get a good job. When you're doing things for Christ, you're going to have so much backfire. You're going to have so many demons coming after you. You're going to have it 10,000 times worse than anybody else when you're doing it for the Lord. And if you dedicate it to the Lord and to bring glory and building the kingdom, he'll make you rich. God told me I was going to be a millionaire, and I am, but for the right reason. But if you don't think, if you think that money is evil, if you think that God don't want you to have it, he won't give it to you. Your mind is very powerful. You have the power to bring the blessing. You have the power to claim the blessing. You have the power. He said, the wealth of the wicked will become the wealth of the righteous. He talks about money all the time. But if you don't want it, you ain't going to get it. If you think God wants you to be poor, you're going to stay poor. God wants you to break through the governmental system and bring his government onto the earth. He wants you to bring his rules and regulation and riches onto the earth. He wants, you, he wants the money in the righteous people's hands to build churches, to bring Christ. But many Christians fail to realize this because they think that God wants us to be broke. He wants us to be in poverty, forget money, it's all about. No, you got to understand that. It's all about the eternal. It's all about the spirit. But you're on earth to change the earth, to change the souls of people. All right. You want to click away, one click away from the whole world, from all information. I've been having these seminars I've been going to with millionaires, buying their programs. They have systems you can do, make all kinds. Okay. Yes, God wants you to have money, but you got to understand the biblical code, the biblical ways of getting it. Okay. You got to understand porn. There are so many Christians, men, famous people addicted to pornography. It's because there are spirits, powerful spirit. Lust has become stronger than it ever has. And the reason why? Because it's such a sensitive talk topic. We don't talk about it in church. And because we don't talk about it in church, because we don't do public prayers against it, because we don't fight against that spirit, it's becoming more powerful and rampant. If the body of Christ would come together and deal with the spirit, it wouldn't be as damaging as it is. The moment you open up a pornography site, you belong to the devil. And this was my greatest weakness. I would keep going back to it six months, then I would go back to it. Why is this repeating cycle? Porn puts a prison over your cell. It crushes your destiny. You have to fight against it. It's not as easy as just, oh, I'm going to quit. There are spirits and powers 
the more you feed it, the more powerful it becomes over your life. They have makeup that is demonic, that entices men. They have lingerie, which is demonic. They do idols when you're watching porn. The reason why it's more devastating than you realize, because you think, oh, I'm just horny. I'm watching people have sex. They are doing satanic worship in altars when they are doing pornography, which makes it very devastating to anybody that watches it. Because it's like you're in, you're, it's like you're in hell with a bunch of demons worshiping the devil, even though you, you're not. You're watching a satanic altar meeting, a worshiping session of the devil. Okay? And that poisons your eyes. It poisons your soul. It cuts off your flow from God. And it's very hard to overcome, especially if you were a single man, a single woman. Because porn now, it has such high graphics and high fantasy that it'll just snatch you. But you have to come up with strategies. You have to be accountable. You have to be willing to admit your weaknesses. You have to not put yourself in that position to fall into that trap. There's a principality named Asmodeus. This is the one that's been fighting me. As I get stronger with God, God allows stronger demonic forces to come at me. Stronger spirits. And these demons, they said, well, he knows how to use the helmet of salvation. If we can't get into his mind, we'll get into his desires. And desires are stronger than the mental. If you, but I've learned through psychology, through spending time with God, when a sexual thought comes in your mind, if you accept it, it registers into your emotions. Then you become horny. Then that sexual power, you have to deny it before it gets in the mind. But it can come in through your sexual organs, your desire. You have to pray over your sexual organs, your desires. And it's humility you have to fight against this spirit. If you're single, I'm a single man. Jesus Christ is my wife. I don't want to get married. People say you should get married. I'm not finna get married just because to fulfill a sexual appetite so I can overcome Satan. Nah. I'm gonna get married if it's God's will and for the woman and for the purposes and calling of God. That's it. But I don't want to get married. I love being alone because I can spend time glorifying God, getting in the power, getting in the revenue. There's no time. There's nothing hindering me. I only have a short amount of time on this earth. And I don't want to spend it having to focus always on kids, on a wife. I want to focus on spirit. I want to get move God's kingdom. I want to change the nation. I want to change the world for Jesus Christ. Jesus, I pray and I give you glory and I give you honor and I magnify thee and I exalt thee from your throne. I hold on to it, Lord. Let these words penetrate through the heavens that everybody that's watching, everybody connected to me, be blessed. Find them. Every spirit of lust and sexual and pornography within you, around you, on your generational, I break its hold. I repent for the sins all the way back to Adam and Eve and I take this up to the courtroom of heaven. That the money that belongs to you, the land that belongs to you, that you would receive it, your mental state would be in the capacity to receive it by understanding God wants you to be wealthy. God wants you to be free. I break off Asmodeus, Asmodeus, every principality of sexual lust, Lilith, hatching her eggs, every demonic, every satanic lust, pornography, satanic altar that's come against your eye and your vision. I break it off of you in the name of Jesus. And I command every principality and demon, and I loose Michael, Luyando, Rezio, Castello, all the archangel warriors to battle on your behalf. I release the guardian angels and the angels of God and the hand of Christ to touch you. And I impart the same strength of overcoming porn, understanding wisdom and revelation and money and the secrets and the code and the DNA and the information and the light and the connectivity and the energy and the divine creativity combined for the power and the sword of Christ to triumph in the heaven. I release it upon you. I swipe that revelation unto you and I release every strength through power on me. I break every enchantment and lust and hold off of your life, off of your mind. I command every pornography website to close down, every pornography lust being released upon a Hollywood, every spirit to close down, that the Lord of hosts would come from heaven and stomp on every one of these demons. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.